McGee with nextlevelguitar.com and the soundodyssey.com. Now check this out. Everybody, listen. For real. Stop what you're doing. For real. Put that shit down. Check this out. This amp has, in the last 20 years, this amp has been straight up used by a plethora of really great musicians. Um, this is a vintage early 80s, 150 watt solid state Randall RG 100 watt, 100 head. It's 150 watts. It's co designed by George Lynch. And if, um, now, you swear there's tubes in this thing, but it's completely solid state. And if you don't know, Randall back in the day were notorious for making really killer sounding solid state amps that the other manufacturers completely hated and would try anything to upstage. The, the, the background as far as the guys I used, the, probably the most noted would be uh, Dimebag. Dimebag uh, used this uh, in accordance with actually with uh, several other things uh, like an MXR uh, graphic EQ, the blue pedal in front, or in the back he used a parametric EQ by Furman, the PQ3 or the PQ4, or who knows, even something even both. You don't believe me? Check out Guitar World and look up Grady Champion, who was his guitar tech forever. All right, and the guy spoke about it. He was like, "Yo, he used this up until basically the last three years, and even the Warhead, which he was endorsed by and all that, they're only using it for clean." All right, so this between the RG series and the Centuries, this is the RG. This is what Daryl based his tone off of, and it's a great amp. Sustains like a mother trucker, and just sounds great. Now uh, you can pull the treble knob, and that's what's going to basically give you the bite over the top, right? Without getting all fuzzy and crazy sounding. Um, now the app's pretty versatile. It takes pedals and rack gear very well. Um, very close to a voicing of an early 80s JCM 800 without all the jangle, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of the jangle, and put meat and beef on it, and that's what you got right here. And being 150 watts, uh, you can cut through just about any mix. Um, now, like I said, Daryl used two different EQs, one in the front as a pedal, and he used, uh, used one in the back as a rack mount by Beth Um Another cool thing about this is that uh, uh, the plethora of players that have played this thing is just, just insane. You had Daryl, you had uh, Michelangelo Beto, who uh, used to play in a band called Nitro. Uh, George Lynch, which if anybody's ever seen Dokken or any of the Lynch Mob or any of the projects he's done, this guy is seriously a tone guru, really into it. Uh, whew, go down the ends of the earth to find great tone, and he found it. You know, he still finds it. Um, metal has never been the same after this hit. And if you don't believe me, listen to like you know the intro to song, classic songs like Walk and this love and all that and this is this is what what Grady and uh, Daryl were using and abusing for a long time built like a built like a tank built like an Abrams tank all oh, my military brothers out there Abrams no substitute back just a touch to show you that this amp cleans up very very nicely so you just went from mean and I'm gonna show you what leans all about <laughs>
Two Fist McGee. You can catch me on MySpace and all that stuff. Now, I've been working here with the SoundOdyssey.com and NextLevelGuitar.com. So, you're looking for gear, you're looking for some lessons, head them up. Get you set straight. This is definitely the Randall RG100 150 watt bad boy. This is what you want to be playing through if you're if you're doing some damage, you know, or if you're not even doing damage, if you're if you're expressing yourself, man, and like all the guys before that were using this stuff were definitely expressing themselves. If you don't believe me, just listen to any any of their albums. Bodies of work are incredible.